One way police are able to catch criminals, surveillance video from cameras set up at maybe your house and businesses all over town. Yeah, they're everywhere now. And so Portland police are starting a program for people to voluntarily register those cameras. Our Lisa Bailick going beyond the headlines. She joins us live in Southeast Portland with more on this idea. Lisa? Yeah, Beaverton, Ashland, Medford police already have these registries, as well as dozens of police agencies around the country. Now Portland wants you to register those cameras because they say they are a crime solver and they'll be a time saver as well. Look closely at most businesses and a lot of homes. There's often a video camera looking closely at you. Police will go door to door when there's a crime to see if anyone was a witness or if they've got video. By registering personal surveillance cameras, it will help save them time. Uh, what this program allows is for people to proactively register their camera with law enforcement to say, I have a camera, you can contact me if you need anything off of it. Often the video may not help, it's too blurry or too dark, but it can help police sometimes know who they're looking for a lot quicker. What's the point of having the camera in the first place except to aid the police? So I think, you know, there's nothing wrong with it if it's not compulsory. You register through the Portland Police website on another site called Crime Reports. It's your choice whether to provide passwords to your cameras or simply note you have a camera at your address and they would need to contact you. You can let them know that you have one and if needed, contact me and you can get it right away, you know, that'd be, that'd be good. You can remove your information if you change your mind. Police say they will not post a public map or list. It's for law enforcement purposes. We're going to document that information because you have to articulate where the information came from. So it would be no different than you're walking down the street and you witness a crime and you talk to the police, you provide your name and address and this is what I saw. If you had a camera and you provided that and officers came to talk to you and got information from the camera, they would document who they got it from and where they got it from. Police tell us many of the images they post on their Can You ID Me page come from these kinds of surveillance cameras already. But with the registry, their hope is to get the images out faster and get help in some cases where before there was only a sketch. Now, clearly, there are still a lot of people concerned about the privacy issue on this. We check with Beaverton Police. Their program started last year. They say so far only 18 people have signed up for the voluntary registry. Live in Southeast Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. Lisa, thank you.